welcome back to my channel i'm so happy to have everybody here today hope everybody is doing great and fine um due to the crisis that was um going on i went to the store to get plum and um i was only allowed to take four just four one two three four of plums so i decided that that four is not going to be enough for me and my family so i decided to to look though before i do use carrots which i've made a video of carrot soup before so i i just said uh, what can i do um that is going to at least if i didn't that would make my this thing to be ill you understand and then i went ahead and get carrots this carrot have been cooked this cooked carrots, I cook it already. So I have a celery here. This one here is celery. I have my um um hot um pepper, which is also known as scotch bonnet, yes, and also known as rodo. Then I have um over there onions. I have like five medium big just mixture of onions there and this one i have um crochet three of it i put it in the freezer i just removed this one from the freezer and it's as you can see this one too was removed from the freezer this one i just bought this one um last week when i went out so i'm going to be adding um ginger and garlic as well so I'm going to be adding um, ginger and garlic as well. So all this, I'm going to chop them. That one is, is cooked already. Then this, I'm going to chop them and with the garlic and ginger, then blend everything together. So let's do that. I'll be back. Okay, guys. So I've slice and chop all my ingredients that i'm going to blend together the uh, uh, the scotch bonnet that i'm using i have i have like 10 in there and it's freezing one well, that's why it's looking like that i just got them out from the freezer and um that is all just garlic ginger scotch bonnet crochet um celery um carrot and my huge bouncy say onions i use i i'm going to blend i i have five in there and this one project is three and my carrots oh my carrots is plenty um i can't remember how many carrots i have in there but i know i have much carrots so that's all i'm going to blend them up there is no um tomato there there is no uh rubber pepper there i'm going to blend all then i will be bad but so guys i'm going to blend it with water and the reason why i cooked my carrots was um is a very big um giant carrot the the carrots in fact was so big i got them from school so that's why i blend it because i don't have strong blender and um i really want it to blend very well so that's why i cooked it if not the 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 other one i did i didn't cook the carrots i just blend it like that and i like it when i blend it like that but i would prefer when the um the carrots is small in a very um sizable um that can really blend with my blender so that's it so i'm going to add water into my blender just small because i don't want it to be watery so at the bottom i'm going to add this because it's soft it will be easy to blend together then my garlic and ginger you just mix everything mix them around and blend and i have my pot right here I'm going to pour them so just walk around it there's no 
wrong how you blend it so that's it so i'm going to be blending it now i don't want to disturb you with my blending i'll be back this is how it looks like you can see so that's how it looks like because i don't want much water in there i'm going to pour half of this away into my into my pot that's it i'm pouring half of it away into my pot then i'm going to leave so on some in my blender see my daughter broke my blender so i'm going to be hiding the rest just walk around and that's how i will i will blend them till everything is finished okay guys there is it you can see it's so much um i finished blending everything together and that's how it looks like we finished blending it no tomato no tatashi you can see and i'm going to cook them i'm going to cook them they're very thick um so when you finish cooling uh, um cooking them they're going to be so thick and i don't like it when it's blend to smoke i like the bits like that i will show you the reason why if i want to use it to make any so this thing i i, I blend i've used it to uh prepare jollof fries um spinach um spinach for a row and then um, just now before i start this video i use it to cook porridge i will show you the porridge i use it to cook how it looks like without tatashi without um without um uh, red red bell pepper which is so, uh, known as tatashi and um tomato so i'm going to put this on my gas my gas is just right beside me here it's just behind me i'm just going to transfer and cook so yeah i think i'm going to show you the one i used to cook um red pepper it doesn't even have um so when it's cooked can you see this one that I used to cook um red pepper and uh, to cook still just for for us to eat that's it that's how it looks like that's how it looks like i just add a little i think i did i i'm i am i am i'm not really sure if i did add um i bought this from lady i'm not sure if i did add this with the with this um soup here i'm not sure but i had some that's it that's how it looks like and i just the onions is just the onions i used to prepare to cook this and the one the other one that i used to cook um the porridge let me get my so this is the stew that I used to cook um porridge. See how it looks like. I just add um little bit of this. Um um it's tomato, that's what is written on it. Passata from a lady. I bought it 89 cents, but it's, full price is 129. So this is it. And food is ready. Because I can't just bear it to be going to store and they will be giving me for what they want to use for to to do. I understand that they have to share everything so that everybody can see to buy. But I just have to take one or two things together and um, we have to heat. So I'm going to cook that now. That is on the gas. It's cooking already. So I will show you how it looks like when it's done. When it's done, I'm going to show you how it looks like. Okay, guys, you can see from the 
from the top of the um, pot, I don't know if you can see it, from the top of the pot here, it has gone there, so it's it's already cooked, but the water, but the water, there is some water in there, just little water. So I'm going to leave it like this on the gas, because um, one I don't have space in my freezer, so I'm going to leave it here. But I don't mean I have space in my freezer. I'll pour it into a plastic, then pour oil on top of it, then put it into my um, fridge. Sorry, into my fridge. But no space so how i'm going to do it like how i did the other one i will just leave it on the gas anytime i'm cooking i will on warm it every day and it's for um daily cooking anyway so that's how i did the other one i have other one that i did i'll snap the picture i'll snap the picture or show you show it to you after i put this in the plastic so that you can see so that is it. That's how I use it to cook, just to add my spice and my hoy, and I'm ready to eat. This is just the um, what is it called? The the celery um, whatever it's called, the celery um, credo. Don't know what it's called. So that is it. That's my blend. You can see more or less like pepper. So um, guys. You can if you can try it when you try it you'll thank me later so that's what i have for now i have another one but i will show you i have another um method because this um crisis taught me two type of um, method so i have another method maybe when this finish or i feel like making that one so i will let you know i will show it to you um but for now this is this one so guys um guys this is what i said i'm going to show to you this is the one um i blend like two weeks ago that i've been using every day to cook so it's because i i um warm it every day that's how it looks like like it get darker you know the down of the pot and everything the smoke of it i love it so this is the fresh one now you can see the difference so it's very good so you can like comment subscribe and press your notification button and don't forget to share 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 and be safe bye